Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. Hey, it has been a momentous last 21 days in the Ninth Circuit. We first got a ruling in Duncan v. Bonta, striking down California's magazine bans, and then we got a ruling in Miller v. Bonta that struck down California's assault weapon ban. Now, the state of California has crapped their pants in both, filed appeals in both, and the Ninth Circuit, as you know, has already accepted an en banc review of Duncan v. Bonta to rehash again the magazine bans. Check out these videos right down here if you want to geek out on all that. But that has all of the folks here in the hometown crowd asking, hey, do these rulings actually help us here in Washington? The short answer is yes, they do. The longer answer is going to be what this whole video is about. So today, let's spend a few minutes. Let's get you educated and let's talk about, yes, Judge Benitez's rulings apply here in Washington State. Okay, so this is what we're talking about today. We are talking about Judge Benitez, United States District Court, Southern District of California in the San Diego Division, who once again has ruled that California's magazine ban is unconstitutional. When I say once again, that is because he's already ruled that way way back in 2017, and yet here we are again. And then in addition to that, Judge Benitez once again has ruled in Miller v. Bonta that California's assault weapon ban is also unconstitutional. Now, we've done videos both on Duncan v. Bonta and Miller v. Bonta. They're right there. Check them out. We'll link them up down below so you guys can geek out on the rulings themselves. Now, again, we said the word again because in both instances, Judge Benitez had heard these challenges years ago, had struck them down, and then we went on this horrific odyssey which I'm worried that we may be going on again soon unless the United States Supreme Court uh, just steps in and stops the insanity. The questions for all of you here in Washington the state is, is, hey, does this even apply to us? The short answer is, you bet it does. Let me explain why, okay? First of all, understand that even though these were challenges to California statutes, okay? California's magazine ban, California's assault weapon ban. These were challenges which were made under the Second Amendment. They were made under the United States Constitution. California, shockingly, does not have any provision in its state constitution that guarantees its citizens the right to keep and bear arms. No doubt about that, right? So this was always a challenge that was brought under the United States Constitution. And fortunately, the United States Constitution does apply to each and every one of us, no matter where we live in the United States. That's the first reason that this would apply, because this is a ruling analyzing these laws under the constitutionality of the Second Amendment purview. OK, the first reason. The second reason is that we have multiple circuits in the United States. The Ninth Circuit, absolutely the worst circuit of all of them, does encompass the state of California, also includes the state of Washington. Hey, Oregon, it also includes you with your magazine bans. And Hawaii, you guys have banned everything forever. Uh, you should be put on notice about this as well. So yes, if this ruling became the law of the land in the Ninth Circuit, it would absolutely positively apply to the state of Washington. Now, there's a third reason, and this is a reason that I've been very open with and very critical of our state legislature, particularly our governor, because as we know, we do not come up with any innovative disarmament ideas here in Washington state. We haven't come up with one creative idea of civilian disarmament yet. No, we just basically copy everything that the state of California does. And not only do, do we copy what they do, we actually copy verbatim how they do it. So if you take a look at Washington State's magazine ban, 9.41.370, and you take a look at the California equivalent, you will see literally identical language. If you take a look at Washington's assault weapon ban, 941.190, as well as California's assault weapon ban, you will see that they literally are verbatim. The entire list of certain makes and models of semi-automatic rifles that were banned in Washington state comes directly from California's list. 
The whole single component illegality, which is if you have a semi-automatic rifle that accepts a detachable magazine and has any one of the following components, it is per se an assault weapon. That is, again, directly cut and pasted from the California statute. So yes, is Washington's magazine ban an assault weapon ban on thin ice right now? It most definitely is. However, and this is where the whole story gets very convoluted, we have gamesmanship that's now going to be played by the Ninth Circuit. We've seen the Ninth Circuit do this before with both of these cases when they came through the first time, and we are already seeing it in Duncan v. Bonta, and notice how the state of California filed an appeal in Miller v. Bonta the same day that the opinion was actually filed. This likely also is going to be accepted by an en banc panel. They will skip over the three-judge panel because they know the three-judge panel is going to affirm Judge Benitez. They will sit on both of these cases as long as as necessary and hope that there is a change in the political winds. What needs to happen, what needs to happen and needs to happen right now is plaintiffs need to uh, immediately request an emergency review by the United States Supreme Court. Now remember, if we're going to do that, the plaintiff's counsel would have to apply to the Supreme Court justice who oversees the Ninth Circuit. That is Justice Elena Kagan. The likelihood that she's going to help expedite review of this matter by the United States Supreme Court is somewhere between slim and none considering her political leanings. However, if she denies that request, plaintiff's counsel then is permitted to make the same petition to any other of the eight remaining justices. Can you think of a justice or two that might be really interested? And ultimately what this comes down to is, is the Ninth Circuit, going to follow the rule of law that they were sworn to uphold. Because the United States Supreme Court has made very clear, not just in Bruin, but going all the way back to Heller now, of what types of firearms are in common use and the fact that they cannot be banned. So I am hopeful, I think all of us should be hopeful, that Plaintiff's Counsel is going to make those emergency requests. Obviously, Justice Kagan is not likely to help the cause, and it would have to go to some other justice. But if either of these cases, Miller v. Bonta or Duncan v. Bonta, remain in the Ninth Circuit, they are going to age out until ultimately there is a ruling that says, nope, Judge Benitez got it wrong. These are ultimately going to end up in the United States Supreme Court one way or the other. Let's just cut out the middleman and get it there right now. Listen, if you have any more questions about what happened in California or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights, you guys should know how to get a hold of Washington gun law by now. If you don't, that's okay. That information is right down there in the description box. Now, in the meantime, let's remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching and stay safe.